CBRL was founded as the British School of Archaeology in Jerusalem, BSAJ, in 1919 by a group of eminent individuals from the UK associated with the British Museum, the British Academy and the Palestine Exploration Fund, including Sir Frederick Kenyon, who was the director of the British Museum at the time. The CBRL is a great bridge between academic Britain and academic Jordan. I've learned about interesting excavations and archaeological sites that I want to visit. And I've visited a lot of them because they've been in the literature that CBRL has produced. Most of the research that it used to support was associated with archaeologically inclined activity and, and research, including digs. But today, the Kenyan Institute has a much broader mandate. We focus on all the disciplines of the social sciences and the humanities. The modern mission of CBRL continues to be what it has always been, which is to do excellent research, supporting scholars to do that research with a particular emphasis on early career scholars. We have a fantastic track record in supporting young scholars from the UK to get to know the Levant and go out and teach and produce fantastic research. CBRL has supported my research by granting me a residential fellowship of three months here at the Kenyan Institute of Jerusalem. And this has been key for developing this research. For example, for me, I was able to visit um, key archaeological sites, collections, but most of all, being here allows me to build a real interdisciplinary collaboration with the local archaeologists, thus bridging the gap between archaeological science and archaeology. Beyond being a wonderful space to work, uh, where researchers are coming and going, a great place to meet people who are also working in a similar field, uh, the library here at the Kenyan Institute has a wealth of resources uh, that I can't get anywhere else and they are crucial for this kind of research. It's a kind of experience that you can't really get from a library outside the region or from an institution outside the region. We have a vision to establish an interdisciplinary research hub out of our local institutes in the region, both the Kenyan Institute as well as the Amman Institute. The great value and the real value of collaboration between CBRL and Jordan Engineers Association is what is coming out of the focus on urban heritage as it is dealing with our living cities. Because it's very important for people to know that you're not just out there being a, you know, in a rather colonial relationship where you use the country as a data mine, but you actually go back and try and pay something back to it. Actually, I have a very good uh, experience with the CBRL for a long time. I have been engaged in, uh, in many uh, projects. The last one was the Madiha project that we work together uh, with the CBRL team and uh, we have really made a very great uh, result uh, in Madih, not only in the research level, but also in the implementation of a very successful database that was very needed, much needed for the cultural heritage site of, uh, of Jordan. So here at CBRL Amman Institute, we participate in workshops and webinars at the local level and the international level. Uh, we also have collaboration projects with UK and Jordanian universities and that have supported our research in uh, expanding our uh, research community and meeting new people, uh, looking at new opportunities for collaboration. For the department or for my school, uh, CBR is support uh, our school to, uh, to establish a new librarian or so a new specialized librarian at the School of Archaeology and Tourism. Uh, this is based on the vision and objectives of the School of Archaeology and Tourism. Today, as CBRL continues to expand across three locations, we are hoping to reconnect to Gaza by holding hybrid and hopefully in-person events and lectures about Gaza in general uh, to encourage students and researchers to apply for CBRL grants and to think of innovative ways that will help us increase our understanding of this important part of the Levant. We have this line learning from the Levant and it has double meaning which is people here have learning to disseminate, to tell people about, that is very rich and the Levant can help other people to understand the world we live in today.